Good morning, friends. Good morning, world. My name is Erwan Yusuf. If this is your first time on the channel, um, I usually make recipes um, and put them together with stories. Today, we will be making a pork belly roast really quick, really easy, really tasty, really crispy, everything you want it to be, but it's too early for this. So before that, I'm gonna have coffee, I need coffee. Okay, that's much better. If you guys have been following me on, ooh, that coffee looks good. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you see that Sunday lunch is kind of like the thing we do in my family. Um, and that's probably the only thing we have that's sort of kind of like a ritual or a, a usual family gathering. We are, and we have been, always been spread all around the world and we're really busy when we're in the Philippines. So we don't necessarily always have time to kind of spend together. Um, so Sunday lunch has always been really important for us. So what I usually do on Saturdays, like today, um, I like to plan and kind of sketch out the food that I'll be making the next day because I really like cooking for everyone and I always love having friends over or family or just people who will really appreciate good food because I really do feel like great conversation usually happens over food and even sometimes you don't have much to talk about but just sharing a meal with someone is so intimate and and it's something I love doing. So that being said, usually on Saturdays, I plan out what I'm gonna make. And after a couple of searches online, I saw that for Sunday lunches, people really look for things like big uh, pot roasts or roast beef or things like that. So I'm gonna be making a pork belly, uh, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna have a couple of sides that are gonna be great as well. We're gonna be making a lot of greens, depending on what I find on the supermarket, obviously. But before all that, um, I don't know if you saw, but I'm kind of trying to show off my, my new DeLonghi stuff. Um, I picked up a really cool toaster and a water heater a couple weeks ago at SM Home. Um, and I'm lucky enough to be working with them again. They called me up and said, you know, come over and see what you need um, and check out our new selection. I was so ecstatic because I've been there before and I bought these things last time. And it's a type of place that has everything that you absolutely need. So we're gonna go there, get some supplies. Right after that, go to the supermarket, come back here, prepare the roast for tomorrow, and then actually start cooking it um, on Sunday. Okay, so we're in here, and I always get questions most of the time um, from everyone who's usually watching on what exactly I look for in some pans and some pots and I'm someone unfortunately who hoards quite a bit and I love especially pots and pans and when I'm confronted with such a choice like behind me it's actually quite confusing but I do have my favorites and they're right here. So I usually look for something that's really cool and kind of non-stick and has a really good design. So today I think we're gonna go for these ones right here. These are the Mastlux ones, which are quite awesome. Oops. Keep breaking things when I'm around. So I've used these before uh, for a shoot and they were absolutely great. Uh, so today I'm gonna grab a couple of them and put them in the cart. Since we will be doing a roast and things like pork belly or beef, usually I like adding a lot of crushed spices in it. Yes, you could potentially, ooh, look at me, I'm behind a nice little garden. So usually when I'm making roasts or pork bellies, I like using spices and fresh spices, and I like grinding them myself. And I've never had a spice grinder at home, simply because I used a you know, mortar and pestle, uh, but I feel like a spice grinder makes a lot of sense and I should finally get one, and this is my opportunity to do so. And these, I heard and read that they're actually really good, the Cuisinart ones. So we're gonna grab one of those. Today our dish is gonna pair perfectly with white rice. I'm gonna pick myself up one of these really cool rice cookers right here. I'm so excited to try it out. Okay, one of the most important things when you look at um, preparation for lunches and stuff like that, and I'm a huge believer in this because I'm someone that breaks plates 
Um, it's just to have a mix match of different items put together. As long as you're working in the same tonality or in the same kind of annoyingly, I'm gonna say Pantones, um, then it's okay, it usually comes together quite well. And since you're using a brown background, like a wood table background, most of the time it's quite neutral. Um, and then you just build colors from there. So I like to use like nice organic colors, like these greens look really cool. Something a bit darker would work as well. You have like these stoneware sets that, oh, try not to break everything today. You got these little stoneware sets that I think would be really cool as well. And then you, what you do is, so I like mixing your darker greens, darker browns with the wooden table and then eventually move out to maybe some black plates, some plates with white and some rims. So we're gonna try to find a couple of those. I'm a huge, 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 huge believer in family style cooking. And what that means is just put everything in the middle and people just grab everything. But that doesn't mean you don't need to, you know, make the food actually look really great. And with large servings, I think it's really fun to make it really pretty with lots of herbs and lots of different condiments that you can add to it. And just when you arrive, it just looks like a plethora of choices that you can get through. I think we're pretty much set with everything. Obviously now it comes down to actually making the food and doing the recipes, and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a bit. All right, we're gonna start first with the pork. Really simple pork belly. You can either get something boneless or with the bone inside. Usually I like having a little bit of the ribs and bone in there as well. It just helps keep it nice and moist. What you wanna do is buy it the day before, score it, put some salt, put some pepper, leave it untouched and uncovered um, in the fridge for at least 12 hours. I like to leave it about 24 hours just because that ensures that you'll have a nice crispy skin after. Then you wanna put your oven to full whack, which means just as strong as you possibly can. And right before it reaches temperature, you put your pork in, drop it down to about 150 centigrade. Just to keep it at a very steady, constant rate for about four to five hours until it starts falling off the bone and until that skin is extremely crispy. Right before putting it in the oven, you wanna make sure to create your own spice blend. Today we're using a mix of like za'atar, some crunchy garlic, a bunch of stuff in this nice spice grinder, put everything together, rub it on the pork, then slap it in the oven. For the rice, we actually don't have to do much to it. Get some beautiful red rice, some brown rice. We're gonna throw it into our gorgeous rice cooker. Forget about it. The instructions there, basically, if you have three cups, there's a line that says three there. Fill it up with some water. Forget about it. Hear that little joyful song right at the beginning. Leave it there and it'll come out nice and puffy. And then we're just gonna finish it off with some crispy nori flakes, just to give us a bit more flavor and texture to the whole dish. Next, we're doing two vegetables, really simple. One is kong kong and kamada tops. We're gonna cook that down a little bit with some garlic, a little bit of olive oil, wait for it to come down more, add in some coconut milk, and then put in some fish sauce just to give it a nice kind of like umami flavor and umami taste. And then we're gonna throw in a little bit of pepper and finish it off with some dried chilies just to give us a little bit of heat. Right before serving it, we're also gonna add some more red chili flakes right on top of that. Finally, one of my favorite sides in France has always been green beans um, with some nice slivered almonds on it. So we're gonna do a little take on that, green beans, some garlic, some crunchy peanuts, and then we're gonna finish it off with some amino brags if you wanna finish it off with some soy sauce. And all those things will come together beautifully. Obviously the pork needs a little bit of sauce. It's nice and moist and you don't actually necessarily need to add much to it. You could serve it with mang tamas, which is probably one of my favorite Filipino sauce. I tell you, it can fix anything from a broken ankle to a broken nail to a car's engine to your very sad and willful stomach. Uh, but if you don't have that, I like to do a very quick play on a you know traditional Vietnamese sauce. So just some fish sauce, some lime juice, a bit of warm water, um, some sugar, finish it off with some scallions. 
that will just be a perfect like kind of dipping sauce. Just to give you that tanginess for the pork. And then we're gonna finish the pork off with just some nice uh, clean shaven uh, radish for some texture, for some freshness, and then the green parts of the scallions as well. Like super simple setups if you have a nice wooden table that's really all you need I'm not one to usually like things like placemats and stuff there you go you got something really simple really quick to put together Best part about cooking for people, I get to taste everything before everyone comes just to make sure that obviously what I'm serving is good. I'm gonna start first with these kamote tops in Kangkong uh, with some coconut milk. Nice and light, but still very creamy, kind of very filling, which is exactly what you want. You have the red rice here with a little bit of seaweed on top. Mm. The sweetness of the seaweed really lends itself well to the rice, which is absolutely delicious. I'm not going to use this fork anymore, or else I'm going to contaminate all the food before everyone gets here. Just going to grab the little piece, not touching anything else. Green beans, peanuts, aminos, garlic, simple, delicious. And then finally, we got this beautiful crispy pork belly with this gorgeous sauce over here. Dip it once, so you got just dip it once. Mmm. I hope you guys can hear the crunch. That fat is really rendered out nicely, but still show me in good. So I'm just gonna wrap this up before anyone comes home. That is exactly how I cook at home, usually for Sunday lunch. I like having one main protein, two veggies, and one side starch. It could be brown rice, it could be sweet potatoes, or two starches if you wanna have on the side, and one or two sauces that you can accompany everything with. Just because I don't wanna make it too complicated and have too many things on the table, it makes absolute sense and it gives people the option of what to eat. So all the items that I used today in the video to cook, including the appliances and the server and everything, everything can be found at SM Home. If you find yourself at the SM store, just use the code AIRWANPICKS and you'll get 10% off these items. I am building a kitchen studio, so watch out for that. I'm building a kitchen studio soon, so I'm gonna have all my tools, my appliances, um, everything is gonna be housed there, all my plates and things. All these videos that you're seeing today will then be transferred over there and it's gonna look really cool. So thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please comment below. Let me know when you guys do your Sunday lunches at home and you cook for your family. What do you like to cook? Um, if there are any recipes that you want to see me do next, please make sure to leave a comment below. I always try to read them. I'm usually better on my comments than I am on my emails, um, especially if it's not work related. So please send all, you know, anything you want to say to me, just put it down there and I'll, I'll see it eventually. Um, and yeah, so please like, subscribe, comment, and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. Get